in its simplest form, uh, pulse oximetry um, is used to evaluate um, how well a patient is oxygenating their blood and how well that blood is being delivered to the tissue that's being measured by the pulse oximeter. The usual uh, clinical application for pulse oximetry actually looks like this unit. Um, it's composed of a few uh, components. Uh, at one end is um, a, uh, a detector and a, uh, a diode uh, which emits a light uh, which can be seen here as red light. Uh, it's worn by the patient, usually on a finger. Uh, this device can also be uh, in the form of a sticker, uh, which can be worn on the finger, the nose, um, the earlobe, that sort of thing. Once the pulse oximeter gets a reading, it gives us a display like this, which gives us uh, a number, which you can see here is 96% uh, uh, for uh, the uh, percent oxygen saturation, uh, as well as a waveform uh, corresponding to that same number. The data given by the, the uh, pulse ox uh, can give us a lot of information about the patient's health. Uh, in particular within surgery, it's of uh, pretty critical importance. Uh, when a patient is under general anesthetic uh, for surgery, um, they are unable to breathe on their own. As, um, as a precaution, we keep them on a uh, ventilator uh, to keep them supported. That ventilator is hooked to the patient by way of an endotracheal tube which goes down the throat. Um, if that uh, tube were to become dislodged, um, the first thing the anesthesiologist relies on uh, as an indicator that the um, patient is not ventilating adequately is the pulse oximeter. Um, so it's critical during the surgery. Um, in other applications, it can give us a lot of information about uh, the patient's lung status and whether they're ad uh, able to adequately oxygenate uh, for a variety of reasons. Some common illnesses um, and conditions that we see uh, the pulse oximeter data being useful for us uh, include emphysema uh, or COPD, in which patients have been um, smoking for a long period, prolonged period of time, and as a consequence, uh, has eroded a lot of the surface area of uh, their lung. Normally, that surface area would be used uh, for oxygenating their blood, uh, but in their case, um, they cannot adequately oxygenate their blood, so you'll see a lower pulse ox um, reading as a consequence. Uh, other conditions more acutely in the hospital include things like pulmonary embolism in which a uh, patient which has been uh, immobilized for a prolonged period of time has developed a large clot, usually in the legs, but it can fall elsewhere. If that clot breaks off and goes to the lungs, um, that can cause a uh, severe inability to um, oxygenate their blood, and it will often show up first uh, in the pulse oximeter. 